Hey there, Robbie coming at you from the Diamond Exchange District in Israel. And I wanted to talk to you today about hiring people and why it sucks to be alone. So a big revelation uh, came upon me about a week ago where I was at a lecture of one of my business partners and he told uh, one of the attendees now uh, just as a, as a small preface the people there were all uh, business owners so we got tons of CEOs with five to 50 employees in the room and uh, there was one guy who was independent and he asked what does this have to do with me like you're talking about hiring people about management how does this have anything to do with me and my business partner said to him well if you stay alone you're gonna keep having ups and downs in your business it's just inevitable and when I heard that it hit me like a ton of bricks uh, because I've experienced that in my own life so anytime I got a lot of new clients because of really strong marketing what would happen is I would have lots of work to do to get done lots of responsibility and that is the exact opposite of the attitude that you want to have when you market yourself so when you're marketing you want to think out of the box creative courageous crazy massive action just go all the way and when you work with clients you want to think deadlines responsibilities giving the client what he needs giving the support being available so you, it's really hard to do the two when you're one person you need a multitude of people that are each focused on a different topic now you might think you know that sounds really good but I don't have any money to spend right now on employees well the cool thing is that there's multiple levels of motivation for each employee so there's four levels now the most basic level is just money just, I want to get money I want to get paid you know I just come just put my time in get the money get out and that's the most basic one if you don't pay that employee or there's a problem with money anything no loyalty just out of the gate now there's a second level which is an investment so somebody comes to work for you and he looks at it like an investment like well I'm not getting maybe as much money as I want but the whole idea is to make more money later think of somebody who become wants to become a partner in a law firm for example or the CEO of a bank uh, again it's it's about like building it and there's more a lot a lot more motivation because the goal is to uh, get more and more money with time but again it's not for self-development it's not because you care it's because you want to get more money and this is a great place to get more money now the third level is self-development this is where you go to work to grow as a person because you learn a lot you become a better person and hopefully you had a chance to work at a corporation or a business like that where the people there are always about self-development and you constantly learn new skills new opportunities and you just want to go to work like it's so fun that you would do it do it for free if money was not an, uh, a problem and uh, that's really what I'm aiming for and now the fourth level is where you do it as a as a just as a service out of uh, uh, a feeling of this is something I just have to do I'm not sure what the word is but imagine like a religious guy that just gives and gives and gives because that's what his religion says and he doesn't care what he gets in return he just does it out of uh, again whatever the word is I forgot so I have business owners and, and friends and partners that I know that pull off these amazing uh, business structures where they basically hiring people that are looking for self-development and you'll see these guys having like a group discussion with their employees and their employees are literally working like some days at like 2 a.m. Um, you know just in the middle of the night but but it's it, they don't care because they do it for for the the growth of it and uh, again that's the big big thing I realized is that if you work alone you cannot grow because you start growing and again the responsibility grows and then you have to get the growth down because uh, you have to take care of the clients so this is something I'm really aiming for right now and I actually booked this week about seven or eight people that are coming for free to basically help me with the marketing uh, the whole idea is to find people that are really really good for marketing and really push that and so from now on I'm gonna be uh, hiring people all the time so the idea is to always 
keep growing and get more and more people that again work for self development, not for the money and not for investing just to get more money, but for the whole the purpose of like becoming better as people. Uh, so if you haven't done that yet, I recommend that you start thinking like that. I remember my mentor Dan Pena uh, told me super something super important. He said that the job of a CEO is to always look for people, look for deals and look for money. That's the only thing you need to do as a CEO. Again, find people to hire, find business deals and find financing for deals. I hope this video helped you. Uh, kind of a low energy, but uh, I hope the value is worth it. So uh, yeah, that's the idea. That's the goal to hire more people, build a team. And uh, again, I hope it helps you. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.